Welcome to our channel. Welcome to another one of our videos. This Saturday coming up at 10 hundred hours, uh, we'll go live again and we'll discuss this past week and some of the stock position and whatever your questions are. The uh, market closed today. We're going to cover QuantumScape Corporations. A little bit about this company. If you don't know what QuantumScape Corporation is about, it's about creating a better battery of lithium for the vehicles. For all these electric vehicles that are out there, they now signed about five different contracts for the future. Before you invest in this company, I would read everything about the company because they're not going to turn a profit until they get their factories and everything online. And saying that, we'll discuss the cash burn and we'll go through the options, what the options are telling us. We'll go through the chart and some information that came out too on some of these reports. So let's begin. As you can see here, the stock dropped a little bit, about 2%. Traded only about 50% of the average volume. We're sitting around uh, $5 billion market cap. We have about $1.3 billion in cash. Our earnings date's coming up here on July 27th, which is on Wednesday. And that's after market. And then they'll have their, they'll have their conference call after market as well. Let's talk about cash positioning right now. This was the last earnings. In Q2, we anticipate spending 35 to 65 million on capital expenditures to continue to fund our facility build out and tooling. We expect cash operating expenses to gross over the course of the year to support additional hiring and increased production volumes. For fiscal year 22, we reiterate our CapEx guidance to between 325 and 375 and cash OPEX of 225 and 275. In line with earlier guidance, we plan to enter 2023 with over $800 million in liquidity. If we don't start doing some serious production until around 2025 or so, that cash can dry up very quickly. So we might have to do another capital raise. I just want you to keep that in mind, and that's why I wanted to show you that. Now, last week, the stocks jumped up. They surged. And this report talked about why it jumped up a little bit. The next earnings will come on July 27th, which I already referred to. But people are hoping because QuantumScape shares sold short this year have been steadily increasing. More than 15% of the total outstanding shares and more than 23% of the float were sold short at the end of June. So that was an increase of 12.5% from earlier in the month. So they're looking for a short squeeze. So anything positive that can bring our batteries to market quicker, and if it's put out in this next conference call, could shoot this price to the upside. Some folks are speculating, and it's a possibility that another company might want to buy this company out. Now, we're sitting at around $5 billion, and that's around $10 a share. And we haven't created anything yet. We just are still working on the technology of the battery. So we'll have to see. That's the bull case. And remember, the bear case is going to be they're going to have to raise more money, more funding, so we can get to market. The report predicts that more than a quarter of all U.S. car sales will be fully electric by the end of 2025. Now, look, let's look at any of the annual activity we might see in the stock for this week through the options market. We're looking at the 29th of July, because remember, report on the 27th. These are the calls up here. It looks like there's some interest in here between the 11th through the 12th. The market's saying that we're going to stay neutral for this next week. So let's look at the chart and see what the chart is telling us. We're not oversold by this RSI chart down here because we're not below 30. We're, we're around the 54, so we're kind of right in the middle. So you can't get any support from the technicals here because all we can see is a trend line going down if you're looking at the 200-day and the 50-day moving average. We're just above the 50-day. But then it could drop further back down here to you know, $9 a share like it was uh, July 1st. So it just depends on what the CEO says on earnings. I appreciate everybody watching our video today. If you have any comments or anything, place them down below or tell us what your positions are or option positions in the stock. Or if there's another stock that you want us to look into. You guys just be safe out there. Take care. This is Sunny. Until next time, I'm out.